Welcome to another episode of Zillow Gone Wild, where we tour the most extreme houses in America. From a Victorian house to a mid-century gem and an iconic designed White House, we're going to be taking an inside look at them all in today's episode. First up today, we have an 1898 Victorian house in Lexington, Illinois. Currently listed for $4.5 million, this property is on 55 acres of land and comes equipped with a 36-house carousel, a 36-passenger train, and so much more. Starting inside the house, you will see that the house has maintained the Victorian-style look to it and has been maintained in very good condition. Each of the rooms is beautiful to look at it if you're a fan of antique designs. The dining room has a nice wooden ceiling pattern and beautiful looking chairs. This massive house has many rooms throughout with a similar style, just in different colors. The kitchen itself has a stunning black stovetop that fits the rest of the house well. The house also includes a windy staircase to go up and down each level of the house. This stairway is beautiful to look at and an absolute masterpiece in craftsmanship. The bathrooms in the house look nice, but have interesting designs when it comes to the toilet seats, as there's no back part on any of the toilets. Each of the bathrooms has its own creative style. As for the bedrooms, they all have a classic Victorian look to them and are relatively similar to one another, just with different colors. One unique twist to this property is there's a cool train room. Inside the train room, there's a one-of-a-kind replica of the monorail found at Disney World in Florida. The Disney monorail set can be seen going from Magic Kingdom to Epcot and more. Lastly, if you're a fan of billiards, there's also a billiards room in the basement of the house, perfect, which is a nice touch. Going outside the house, you'll find two commercial buildings. Inside the one on the right, you'll find a 36-house carousel in great condition. Apart from hosting Halloween or other parties, I'm not too sure what you would need this for, but it's cool to see nonetheless. Surrounding the property, there's also train tracks for a 36 passenger train. This train loops throughout the yard and would be perfect for anyone that loves railways. Outside, there's also a pool and tennis court, both great to activities in the summer. Looking at the exterior, you can see just how nice this house is. Moving on, we have a gorgeous mid-century home in Akron, Ohio, listed for only $439,000. From the outside, this house features a very flat roof design and is said to take inspiration from Frank Leod Wright's home designs. Inside the house, you'll find beautiful brick on the walls and a wooden ceiling throughout giving a cozy feel. The living room has a fireplace in the center of the room. What's interesting is there's also an extremely long couch in the living room that could probably fit 10 to 12 people across. While the kitchen just has standard wooden appliances, it also features a fun bright red brick behind the counters. And looking up at the kitchen ceiling, there is a uniquely designed light in the middle. Going outside the main living area, there is a patio style area that is fully enclosed with glass. While definitely a bit different, this room would be great for rainy days or when you want to relax outside without dealing with bugs. Going upstairs, this house has a neat stairway with a glass view of the outside. The primary bedroom is pretty standard with nice glass windows and continues the brick design on parts of the wall. The primary bathroom also stays consistent with the rest of the house's brick design and has bright red bricks in the shower. And the other two bedrooms and bathrooms in the house are quite like the primary ones. Overall, this mid-century house is full of charm and perfect for anyone not wanting a traditional basic home. Next up, we have a unique looking house in Longwood, Florida. Currently listed for $5.5 million, this house was built by the same architect firm behind the Orland Convention Center, Epcot, and the Palm in Dubai. Originally, this home was built for the billionaire founders of Clearing Publishing House. It has since gone on to host many people as a venue for private concerts and fundraising parties. Sprawled across 11 acres, this place is a sanctuary of its own. There's a man-made lake stocked with over 500 fish, including some snazzy tilapia and bass. And if that doesn't impress you, there are more than 20 imported statues and fountains scattered around the grounds, complete with life-size bronze sculptures, each with its own story. Now, how big is this property? A whopping 17,000 square feet in total. That includes the main residence, a guest pool house, and staff quarters. 
The owner's suite is like a mini palace itself, with a study gym, two bathrooms, three closets, and a private patio. With the floor-to-ceiling windows in the bathroom and below-surface bathtub, this primary bathroom is stunning. In total, there are six bedrooms, all with unique Sheryl Wagner-themed bathrooms. Each of the rooms has a nice, clean design and is beautiful to look at. This house also features a two-story office and library, perfect for working from home or reading on weekends. Going to the main living area, this house has a custom-designed St. Charles kitchen, which a light blue theme and very cool style to it that's hard not to admire. The dining room has a very nice ceiling design and would be perfect for hosting any large family dinners. Arguably, the nicest room in this house is the conservatory, which is surrounded by glass walls and has a massive chandelier on top. If you know how to play the piano, I can't think of a better room than this one. Next, the garage can fit eight cars, including a limo, and the property even has its own sandy beach with canoes, a tennis court, and a pool for the warm Florida weather. The entire outdoor yard of this property is very spacious and already has many things spread across the outdoor property. This house is a dream come true for anyone looking for a house perfect for entertaining, and it's only a short drive from Orlando, where you will find everything from sports to amusement parks to world-class golf courses. Here's our rankings from best to worst of the three houses we just toured. Which did you like most? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week.